Today we are going to show you the basic internal parts of a computer. Most computer cases are held closed with screws while some use a lever to unlock the case. On this computer, you can see it is held closed with two screws that can be undone by hand. Once the screws are off, it is a simple matter of sliding the cover towards the back of the computer and lifting it off. You can see there are quite a few different parts within a computer. Computer components can be very sensitive to static electricity. It is a good idea to use an anti-static wrist strap like the one shown here so as not to damage the computer parts. Once you have the strap on, clip the other end to a metal part of the computer case to ground yourself. Now your computer is safe from static electricity while you're working on it. Here is the power supply. All the power computer uses feeds through it. A power supply is used to convert power to a lower, safer voltage for the use of the computer. Many computer parts are connected to the power supply through power cables. Oftentimes you will see extra power cables running freely from the power supply. These are there in case new computer parts are added later. Underneath this fan is the central processing unit, or CPU for short. The CPU is considered the brain of the computer. It reads all the instructions for the computer and processes information. This is the video card. As the name suggests, the video card handles a lot of work dealing with what you see on the computer screen. Computer games and graphic development software are very demanding on this computer part. Here is the network card. This device is used to connect your computer with other computers through networks and is oftentimes used to connect to the internet. Here is the hard drive. This is where all your information is kept on your computer. Some computers have a second hard drive for more storage, often referred to as a slave drive. This is the CD drive. As the name suggests, the CD drive is used to read information on CDs, most commonly used when installing new programs on a computer. This is the computer's memory. When you open a program, it is temporarily copied over from your hard drive onto the memory. This gives your computer quicker access to the program than if it was on the hard drive. If you'd like to learn more about computers, check out the rest of our free tutorials at technotesinfo.com.